Hello everyone. I just wanted to take this time to introduce you to a great free resource to use in the classroom. This resource is titled Kid Blog, and the way that you access it is going to kidblog.org. When you get here, you can create a class. Kid Blog is a great way to introduce blogging to your students and incorporate technology in your classroom. To create a class, you click on the Create a Class link and then you simply fill out this information with a display name, a password, an email address, a class name, and a verification code. Now the display name is the name that your students will see. So I would probably put whatever name it is that they call you as your display name. Then you would click create a class. When your students come to log in, and they won't be able to do that until you put in all of their names on your kid blog. As soon as you've entered all their names, then they'll be able to come to kidblog.org or download the app and log in from there. Now they'll have to be able to log in by finding your class. So they just click the login down arrow and then find your class by typing in your email address. So we'll find my class blog by typing in my email address. And then they click go. This screen will pop up where they're going to be able to find your class blog. So they just click on the link. When they get there, I would suggest that you tell them to either bookmark this on their device or to set this as a favorite on their computer. Now one important thing that you, make sh you need to make sure your students know is that they need to make sure they log in or their post will show up as a guest post. We want them to show up under their name. So they need to click the login button. Then they would select their name and we'll log in under my name. And you'll have to also set passwords up for each of your students. And then they just click log in. After that, they'll be able to create a new post. They'll be able to view all the blogs, all the other students' blogs. And they'll be able to create, I mean, comment on posts under their name. Now, the kid blog is a great way if you're wanting to incorporate flipped lessons in your classroom. It's a great way to incorporate that as well. Another thing that you can do with KidBlog is to post different kinds of resources for the students. For example, this is a small group activity that we're going to be completing for an in-class activity. And so I attached a link to a resource that we'll be using during that lesson. You can also post homework posts on here questions or a video for them to watch and then answer questions about as well and then they go home and log in just like the way that I just showed you and they are able to comment or create a new post to answer the questions and that's a great way to have them practicing typing skills and learning how to upload images if it's a picture you're wanting them to put or a video that you're wanting them to post on the kid blog. Another great thing about the kid blog is that you can post newsletters on here for your parents to be able to access easily. You can also create a blog roll with some links to some of the important websites that you use often in the classroom or you want them to use at home. Now one important feature of a kid blog is the blog directory has all of the students names on here 
and the students can actually go and see other students blogs and what they've posted and comment on them and I think that's a great way to create a good classroom community atmosphere so one assignment that I wanted to show you that my students really enjoyed and I really think that is a great way to incorporate technology in the classroom. We went through the school and found real world arrays while we were learning about multiplication. And arrays are a great way to introduce your students to multiplication. And so we walked around the school and found real world arrays, took pictures of them, upload them to our kid blog and wrote the multiplication problem or equation that went with our arrays. They also had to find real world arrays as a homework, a homework question and post a picture as well. So this is Liberty's real world array and as you can see there are six rows with two in each row, so two columns. And she wrote what her picture was, what was in her picture, and her multiplication equation, two times six equals 12. So this was a great assignment that the students really enjoyed. And this is just one way that you can incorporate a kid blog in your class. So this like I said, it's a great way to use technology in your classroom. You can use the kid blog to post pictures, do a flipped lesson where they watch a video at home and answer questions and then do an assignment in class. You can also post pictures and questions and have the students practice typing on the kid blog as well. So I hope this little tutorial inspired you to want to use KidBlog in your class.